How's it going? I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock. The first thing I want to say is uh, I'm putting this out probably today or tomorrow, 5 p.m., and I'm going to start doing that with some videos and just spam everybody with a lot of music because <laughs> I've been like writing a song a day. I usually get like four videos per song because I'll do like this whole like how I wrote it thing and then just the song and the guitar solo and then a little short of the guitar solo. In doing that, I ended up all the way out into 2005. So I just decided, all right, it's getting ridiculous so i decided to start just putting stuff out in the afternoon i guess you'll get a lot of content out of it i also want to say too if the videos that come out at midnight which are a couple months ago that's pre-surgery for me so i had my acl re placed i had some major stuff wrong with my knee and i was walking around for far too long with torn meniscus acl was ripped off the bone i didn't actually just like pull it in half like most people i somehow ripped it off the bone because that's me. And uh, then I had like these two big like things that bubbled up in my knee, like my body responding from the trauma, I guess. And uh, that was pushing on my nerve. So my leg was shutting down. felt like it was attached to a car battery. And I'm still walking around for two years like that, like a complete idiot. <laughs> I finally went and got it taken care of, and it's healing, but uh, it's been a whole process. But anyway, point being, I might look a little heavier pre-surgery because I just was. Well, like, I lost some weight because I think the whole healing process takes more calories. I didn't change my diet at all, but it just takes more calories. And I also, pre-surgery, was starting to lose some weight because I figured less weight on the knee walking around is probably a good thing. Like, I was pushing 215, and I'm, like, 170 now. And that sounds like a lot of weight loss, but I'm just, like, not very food motivated so i'm actually like yeah this, that's great i get the us day i don't have to try and maintain any muscle mass <laughs> lost a lot of strength but i also just uh feel better walking around and i'm like i'm just gonna maintain this weight because i'm still at a healthy weight and walking more important than you know bench pressing and it also did give me an appreciation because uh for a while there, I couldn't. I was in a wheelchair because mine was just worse than the typical ACL surgery, which is bad enough in its own right. I had a melody pop into my head earlier. I've had that happen lately, so I just keep like doing something to put it in my phone. This time I just kind of like crappily hummed it, and it was crappy because I had just woken up. So I'll see if it works over what I'm about to do because I put it down a, or didn't put it down, but I came up with a guitar riff out here. <laughs> Doing that with a mic stand blocking again. <laughs> I always like hear these intervals in my head over the chord and I try and figure it out and every time it's like the biggest and most annoying chord to play ever. But it's good for uh getting my hand mobile, I guess. I set a tempo when I came up with that, so I think I'm gonna do it and I'm not sure what I wanna do like as far as verse chorus, that's probably going to be the chorus because like kind of comes in on like the uh, pickup beat, like beat four right before the actual phrase would start. Um... <laughs> Maybe I could just do that C sharp to A. Kind of sounds like uh, that one Legend of Zelda tune from Ocarina of Time. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. Well, it's just the uh, interval anyway. So it's a C sharp minor. And then you just throw the octave on top. So it's just root third octave. So, okay, that, that might be my verse. That'll work. I'll take these off for now. Like transition sunglasses. Yeah, that should work. So I think I'll start with that. I'll do like an intro chorus, I think. <laughs> Just finish this up. I feel like I want to do leads, and I might want to do that. Improvise this guitar solo, third verse, and it's E major. OK, 
Okay, base part uh, is up next. Probably won't do the little uh, pickup thing. I'll just let the guitars do that, and I'll just come in with... <laughs> I'm going to start off saying I am not a piano player, <laughs> but uh, I sometimes like to do simple things over here and just put crazy sound effects on it. So all right, so drums are up next. All right, I just finished tracking the drums. Uh, full disclosure here, I'm gonna change the very last hit because, yeah, there it is. I uh, choked the cymbal, but it somehow we did a weird double trigger that I heard and it was like, so it should be that. But I got this instead, so uh, that crap's going away. I felt like I had a double trigger somewhere on the snare, but it probably just came out as a like a flam. Oh, oh there it is, there it is. Yeah, see the notes layered on top of each other. There it is. Yeah. Okay, rest of that looks good. Oh, no, there's another one. I have to do this sometimes. Occasionally what I just deleted was a uh, ride cymbal hit that didn't happen, but it's on the same stand as the uh, floor tom. So occasionally when I hit that extra hard, I'll get a ride cymbal hit. It's easy to spot though, because it's like up here and it's like color coded for like intensity, red is the loudest. So if I get like a little blue ride cymbal and I'm pretty sure I didn't hit it, it's probably just transferred up through the stand. And I'm glad I heard that double trigger on the snare. I would have had a weird flam in the middle of this. All right, that's it. So I'm going to take a few minutes and do some lyric typing up. Not typing. I'm just going to talk text it. Audio. Yeah, there we are. There we go. Um, let me turn on the latency thing there. I uh, got the lyrics typed up. I think I might have the lines too long, so I'm going to mess with it. Uh, by the way, since I'm putting out the older stuff that's coming around, out around midnight, you might notice on those the vocals are louder when I'm doing the whole, like, what I'm singing thing. But I wasn't doing the thing I'm doing now when I recorded those. So on those, it's just one vocal track going into... It's still going into a bus because, like, I just put a compressor on that track. But then it's going into a bus where it's got, like, some EQ compression and... A little bit of verb but what i'm doing now is the channel itself is a little lower because after i record it i've got these two buses that are currently off for the low latency stuff so uh it's just going to be a little bit quieter while i'm like singing over the song and then after i'm done recording it i turn these two on they go to these two channels that have a little extra grit on them and just a bit of stereo spread to make the vocals just sound bigger in the mix or more consistent because like what i was having happen is when i was going from the verse to the chorus when the guitars and everything all picked up the vocals got a little lost in the mix this way it's a lot more consistent but trade-off is when i'm doing these where all i have is a <laughs> headphone out going to the camera like you can't hear me singing over the track sometimes but you know it is what it is anyway i also started doing this thing where i'm just like showing you how i kind of warm up and put these together because i don't usually do that you're gonna hear me singing some crappy falsetto for a bit until my voice warms up and actually kicks on with mixed voice but that takes a minute or two and i don't want to just try to do it otherwise forcing it just is gonna have bad negative effects <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit record and go for this. It's a little screamy. It's been lately. It's just fun to do that. I, I don't even care. Like, it's just cool that I can do that and hit the notes. I, like, learned how to do mixed voice, and now I'm, like, just doing it all the time. Okay, so the lyrics are going to be in the bottom of the description box, as they always are. The middle has where you can find me online, purchase and stream my music, that sort of thing. And uh, as I said earlier, it's Christian Rock, so the very top thing is a link to the best Bible teaching I know. 
of when i say bible teaching it's actually bible teaching a lot of places say they do that but they just like say their own things subjective ideas opinions denominational things and take a lot of stuff out of context and most people are just so far off the mark it's not even funny so this is like the rare exception where it's really fantastic teaching translating from original languages as old a manuscript as they can get their hands on lots and lots of study lots of teaching nearly 50 years worth with uh late dr gene scott currently pastor scott and it's just awesome stuff so i'm like hey come check this out it's good stuff and it's a good contrast for most of the garbage that's out there as far as my music subscribe like comment share you'll keep seeing me because i write a big big load of it i was gonna say something else but see you in the next one thanks for watching here comes the song Bye.